We all know the story by now, or at least you should. When Metallica formed in 1981 because Lars sucked at tennis, he teamed up with James Hetfield, whom were both obsessed with bands such as Motorhead, Judas Priest and Black Sabbath to name a few. The pair mutually bonded over their love for heavy metal and also shared a dream of becoming rock stars one way or another. Lars and James wanted to create their own version of heavy metal, but faster, angrier and more aggressive than traditional sounds of Sabbath and others. As history shows, Metallica would become one of a handful of bands that would go on to pioneer a new genre called thrash, and during their early years, a young red-headed guitar wizard known as Dave Mustaine would contribute greatly to their early success. Some would even argue that Metallica simply wouldn't have even made it without Dave Mustaine's early contributions and influence. Metallica's first record, Kill Em All, released in 1983, was raw, powerful, and by all accounts, thrash. It is without doubt one of the earliest thrash records ever released. And the same can be said for their second LP, Ride the Lightning, in 1984. Fast forward a year later, Dave Mustaine had already been abruptly kicked out of Metallica, formed his own band and was just about to release probably one of the angriest records to ever grace a turntable. We know Mustaine was angry with Metallica. Not only did he state this in multiple interviews for years, but he also decided to record his own version of The Four Horsemen, a song that appeared on Metallica's first record. Dave's version was called Mechanics, and it's easily three times faster than Metallica's version and definitely angrier. This early feud sparked a two decade long rivalry between Megadeth and Metallica, and for a short time, they did follow a similar musical career path. For the remainder of the 80s, Metallica and Megadeth essentially went head to head to see who could write the better riffs, the heaviest chord patterns, and the most spine crushing solos. And let's be honest, it was a pretty close race in the 80s between them both, and it was perfectly okay to ask that age-old question, who's better, Metallica or Megadeth? You could 100% compare the two bands. They were both pioneering the same genre. They were both at the forefront of thrash metal, a new genre that ripped through America faster than Lars could hit a tennis ball. However, on September the 24th, 1990, that rivalry was laid to rest when Megadeth released Rust in Peace. And a year later, Metallica released their self-titled fifth studio album, also known as The Black Album, on August the 12th, 1991. This is where Metallica probably got too big for their own boots. The fame, fortune and commercial success that followed the release of The Black Album would be enough to make any musician think they were untouchable. And their subsequent records Load and Reload in 1996 and 1997 respectively were, well, certainly not thrash. Metallica had simply decided to stop pioneering a sound they were so heavily involved with during the late 80s. Many Metallica fans will even tell you that they simply sold out after the Black Album. So what of Megadeth? Well, the music speaks for itself. Just look at the sheer number of quality albums Megadeth produced in the 90s alone. Five, to be exact. They could have just released Euthanasia in the 90s and still would have put Metallica's three records to shame in that one decade. If we consider every record released by both artists from 1990 to present day, it should be blindingly obvious that Metallica and Megadeth are two completely separate bands. You cannot compare them by any standards. You might as well compare Slayer to Rick Astley. And again, the music is all the evidence we need to show that Megadeth really did become the one true thrash band. Megadeth are about to release their 16th studio album. 16th. And yes, it's without doubt thrash. And what are Metallica doing apart from still recovering from that god-awful snare sound in St. Anger? Don't get me wrong, I love Metallica, they've put out some great records, and I'm even a fan of their recent albums Death Magnetic and Hardwired. But it's kind of insulting to even try and compare them to Megadeth now. 
It almost seems as if Metallica was somewhat of a one-trick pony when it came to thrash. They haven't released a solid thrash record since the 80s. The one true solid lineup in thrash has always been Dave Mustaine. And yes, I said thrash, not Megadeth, thrash. In my opinion, as far as metal musicians go, Dave Mustaine has been the most consistent in terms of innovation and songwriting ability over the last 40 odd years. I mean, come on, the dude is 60 years old. Have you heard the new Megadeth single? It's insane. And whatever Metallica is working on sure as hell isn't going to come close to it. And that's all right, because Metallica is Metallica and Megadeth is Megadeth. There is no comparison here though. There is no musical rivalry to speak of. Not anymore. Megadeth, in my opinion, which is the right opinion, will go down in history as one of the greatest metal bands of all time and one of the true pioneers of thrash. All hail Megadeth, all hail Dave Mustaine. Thanks for watching.